Hey everyone, I'm Janet. Welcome to Yoga with Janet. If you have any class requests, um, feel free to pop them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, today I'm going to be taking you through a 45 minute power flow, focusing on the hips and the core. So a theme that I've been um, pondering a lot uh, this week is this idea of sat kata, which is a Sanskrit word that means devotion, uh, reverence, or sweetness. And it is this attitude that we have um, to maintain towards our practice, right? To be in a good relationship with our practice. So I want you to just think about how do you maintain that sweetness, um, devotion towards your practice, maybe on the days that you have a hard time getting out of bed and rolling out your mat or when things get challenging, um, how can you sort of pull back, maintain that sweetness and still uh, love your practice, okay? So come into your child's pose to begin. You're gonna bring your knees wide um, and then allow the rib cage to fall down between the thighs. Relax your forehead and this is an immediate bowing to your practice. Bowing to your mat and just surrendering. Knowing that as you show up to your practice, it shows up to you and carries you. Just take a few deeper breaths. And the breath is this automatic channel into the subtle body, to the present. One more breath here. And then reach your arms forward and start to elongate through the spine. Lift up through the forearms, anchor the fingertips down. And allow the head to float between your biceps. Good, hug the lower belly in. And now there's a sense of buoyancy under the body, a lift. Deep inhale. And full exhale. Good, slowly, slowly come all the way up onto all fours. We begin in our cat cows. Nice and smooth, finding that flow and sweetness. Inhale, lift the tailbone, lift the chin bone. And exhale, round the spine, dome the back. Again, inhale, heart forward. Lengthen. And exhale, round, rolling through each vertebrae and soaking up that sensation of articulation. Again, one more, inhale, heart forward, 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 draw the shoulders down the back. And exhale, round the spine, draw the belly up and in. And then tuck your toes, lift your knees, hover, Go, get, get, getting straight into that core, draw the lower belly in, and we're gonna do the same exact thing. Start to peel the chest forward cow and exhale cat round the spine draw the belly in press away knees hover again inhale heart forward you should be feeling your legs your arms shoulders core basically everything and round one more and continue to maintain that good attitude towards your practice Right in these moments and round, 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 like that feel good burn. And then downward facing dog, sweet relief. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Press the palms away, squeeze the upper arms in. Lift your tailbone. Inhale, ripple forward, high plank, continuing that articulation through the spine. Bend the knees, press the bum back, hips high. 
inhale, ripple forward, high plank. And then bend the knees, press the belly to the thighs. Ripple forward all the way. And then bend your knees, press belly back downward facing dog. One more with your own breath. Growing in sync with your practice. Giving yourself over, handing yourself over. Center the left foot, lift your right leg high. Inhale and draw your knee to your chest round. Think knee to nips. Step through. Lower the back knee. Bring your hands into your heart. Inhale. Lean forward and twist. Hook the elbow to the thigh and then lift the chest to the thumbs. Good. Lift the lower belly off of your right thigh and continue to spin open. Deep breath in and out. Good. Release the hands down. Straighten your right leg. Flex the toes towards the face. Shoulders down the back. Elongate. Inhale and exhale. And bend your right knee. Plant the hands. Lift the back knee. And then just step back, downward facing dog. So just a little taste of what's to come. Lift your left leg high, inhale, sit your right sit bone back. And then draw your thigh to the rib cage, step through. Lower back knee, hands to heart, other side. Upright the pelvis, lean forward and twist, right elbow, left. But firm that left hip in, and it's like you're scooping your left sit bone under towards your left knee, and that will lift the lower belly. Final breath in. And then release, half split, straighten your left leg. The toes to face, heart forward through the gateway of the shoulders. Inhale. And exhale, bend your left knee, plant the hands, lift the back knee, and then step to plank. Deep breath in, and, and then slowly downward facing dog. And rise onto your toes, and then tiptoe to the top of the mat. We're going to move through our sun A's as a full body mudra, full body Offering, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. Sweep the arms all the way up, press the palms above the head, length, and circle the hands back to the heart, arriving back to center, always coming home. Inhale, sweep the arms high, press the palms, and then exhale, dive and fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen, and then exhale, plant the hand, step your right foot back, step your left foot back, plank, deep breath in, and then as slowly as you can, lower to the earth, point the toes, anchor pinky toes, and lift cobra, forehead to the mat, again, inhale, we lift, Warming up the spine, the back. Oh, one more. Lift, shoulders draw back. And forehead to the mat. And press up to your knees. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And full breath out. Again, inhale. And exhale. Final breath in. Open mouth, rise onto the toes, flex your left foot, tiptoe forward, flex the right foot, hike the hip, it's like a waddle, hands flat, feet between the hands, inhale, lengthen the chest, and fold, and sweep the arms all the way up, lift and lengthen, and then circle the hands all the way back to the heart. Again, inhale, gather, lift, and look up to the sky.
And then fold as you surrender. It's an offering. Lift, lengthen. And step your left foot back and right foot back. Deep breath in. Good. And then lower to the belly or chaturanga. Good. Upward facing dog or cobra. Full body stretch. And then downward facing dog. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Feel yourself just settling into the practice, into this rhythm. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. And exhale, three. Good. Bring your feet together. Good. And then rise onto your toes, bend your knees, step, or this time jump between your hands. Halfway lift and fold. Shoulders draw up the back. Slowly lift all the way. Press the palms. And then circle the hands back to the heart. And get one more round. Inhale, sweep the arms wide and high. And exhale, fold all the way. Inhale, lengthen. Plant the hands. You can step or play with the jump. Plank or chaturanga with upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Inhale fully. And exhale completely. Two more breaths. Finding steadiness and ease. Stiras and sukha. Stability and comfort in everything we do. Firmness and softness at the same time. Good. Feet together. Good. And then bend the knees. Step or It's like you're jumping through rather than up. Halfway lift and fold. Good. Sweep the arms all the way up. Gather at the top and then circle the hands back to the heart and just feel this centeredness, grounded, already noticing the effects of your practice. I'm going to heat it up. Bend your knees, reach your arms up, chair pose. Good. And then sink a little bit lower. Upright the pelvis, lift the lower belly, sink lower and lower until the hips are in line with your knees and then we're going to pulse it up and down like these long low pulses eight seven feeling the legs six five did i forget a number four three two this time we're going to sit all the way down separate the knees booty down lift your shins navasana boat pose Grab the thighs, lift the chest, and again, we're going to cultivate this upper body to lower body connection. Knees to nips, reach your arms forward. Deep breath in, good, and then slowly lower, low boat, hollow the belly. High boat, lift, knees to nips, and then slowly lower, hollow the belly. Imprint your spine. Again, lift and lower. Lift, last one, lower, hollow the belly. This time reach your arms above your head for three, belly down, two, good, and then you're gonna scoop and lift, use the momentum. Good, feet down, hands behind you, reverse tabletop, lift your hips, just as a sweet relief. Release the head if that feels okay. And then slowly lower the hips. Cross your ankles downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And full breath out. Good. Center the left foot, lift your right leg high, inhale. And draw your knee into your chest, step between your hands. Left hand down, right arm up, easy twist, look up. 
firm the right hip in. And then warrior two, back heel down, circle the arms up. Let's sink a little bit lower, shoulders over hips, inhale. And exhale, windmill the arms down. Good. Step to plank, deep breath in. Lower, chaturanga, broaden the collarbones, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Center the right foot, inhale, lift the left leg high. And draw your knee into your chest, step between the hands. Right hand down, left arm up, easy twist, inhale. Good, back heel down, and then slowly windmill the arms open and settle into the hips. Just one breath here. And then windmill the arms down, frame the left foot, lift the back heel, quietly step that knee to nip connection. How many times am I going to say nip in this flow? Deep breath in. And then lower, chaturanga. Good. Press the feet back, upward facing, downward facing dog. Ramukha Svanasana. Deep breath in and out. And you can take three breaths in down dog or you play with your tuck jumps, feet together, head shoulders over wrists, bend the knees, and we jump for three, for two, the last one, and then step top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, release. Bend your knees, arms up, chair, one breath, and then stand all the way up. Release the hands by your side. Building, bend the knees, arms up, inhale. This time, hands to heart, sit lower. Twist to the right, left elbow, right thigh. Lift the chest up to the thumbs, firm the right hip in, and open the right chest. And center, inhale, stay low, and then hook, right elbow, left knee. And deep breath in, and full breath out. Pull those front ribs in, the left ribs, but open the left chest. Rotate around axis of spine. Inhale, center. You know it's coming slowly lower all the way. Separate the knees. Navasana. Nips again to knees. Reach your arms forward. Deep breath in. And slowly lower. Low boat. Lift. High boat. Good. Low boat. High boat. Low boat. I went to a class that had 20 of these ones. High boat. Low boat. High boat. Low boat. One more. High boat. Low boat. Hold. Good. Bring your right leg to the ceiling. Give me 10 pulses from your rib cage. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, switch, left leg up, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, both legs up, reach for your toes, last one, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, release the head, release the feet, release the arms by the side, open your chest, bridge. Just as this counter pose, lift the hips, open the chest, deep breath in and out. One more breath. And out, slowly come all the way down. Good, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little hug, finding that sweetness. And then come all the way over, downward facing dog. Deep breath in and out. Good. And there are, there's this ebb and flow of the practice and every relationship. So 
sometimes you just need to keep going, moving forward, knowing that you will soon have out of one phase and then flow into another. It may just be time. And so you have that understanding that the sweetness comes back in. And just the knowledge of that makes it sweeter. You center the left foot, lift your right leg high, inhale. And draw your knee to your chest, step through. Lower the back knee, hands to heart, inhale. Lean forward, hook, left elbow, right thigh, lift your chest. Squeeze the right hip in. Okay, stay here for the stability. If you feel stable, tuck the back toes, lift your knee. Good, drop the right hip in line with the right knee. Press the left thigh bone up. Good, firm the right hip in and then open the right chest. Lower belly lifts off of the right thigh. Good, and then try hands free, warrior two. But the option to maintain stability is put the hands down. Warrior two, align front heel. And back arch, good, and then straighten your right leg. Sweet relief, inhale. Good, and then bend deeper into your right leg. Look forward, firm that right hip under. Flip the right palm and reverse. Side body stretch, inhale. Straighten your right leg. Good, try ankle, bring the back of the hand inside of your right knee or to a block and then take your right rib cage and rotate it underneath you left arm to the ceiling draw the shoulders away from the ears shoulder blades down the back and look up take the top hand behind you and take a half bind grabbing onto your waistband or your right hip crease One more breath here. And then bend your knee, reverse, reach up and back, up and back. And then you decide right forearm to right thigh, or you can bring your hand all the way down. Good, press your tricep against your inner knee and spin the chest open. Good, right sit bone scoops under towards your right knee just to protect the top of the hamstring and so you don't collapse into your labrum. Deep breath in. Okay, more core is the theme. Reach your right arm forward like you have a platter of your favorite brunch buffet items from a fancy hotel. One more breath. Good. And then reverse, reach up and back, straighten your right leg, Re release the bind. And then circle the hands all the way down, bend your left knee and just take a half split. It should feel quite nice. Deep breath in. And full breath out. Good, bend the knee, lift the back knee, step to plank. Moving through the flow, lower chaturanga. Upward facing dog, deep breath in. Downward facing dog, inhale and exhale. Okay, here we go, other side. Center your right foot, lift your left leg high, inhale. You draw your knee to your chest, squeeze and step between the hands. Take a lunge. Right hand down, or just kidding, right knee down, hands to heart. Got sidetracked. Sometimes that happens. Deep breath in. And then start to lean forward and hook right elbow, left thigh. Good, lift the chest up. Draw the low belly in. Here we go. Okay, with the stability, tuck the back toes, lift your knee, lift the knee, high lunge. Good. Melt those front ribs in. Send the left sit bone back. Good. And open the left chest. Good. One more breath. And then warrior two. 
Windmill the arms open. And here we go. Bend the knee and straighten. Okay, re-bend into the left knee. Take your gaze forward and just settle into that left thigh. Good, flip the front palm. And reverse, reach up and back, up and back. Straighten your left leg. And just feel the side body stretch. We come into Trikonasana. Take the back of the hand to the inner knee. Firm that left hip under. Reach your right arm up. Left shoulder away from the left ear. Okay, plug the big toes down. Lift the kneecaps and spin the chest open. Deep breath in. Take the top hand behind your back. Half bind. Fingertips wrap around to the inner thigh. Good. Firm those front ribs in. Spin the chest open. Reverse. Bend the knee. Flip your left arm up and back. Up and back. Good. And side angle. Left forearm. Left thigh. Good. Draw the left shoulder towards or just behind you down towards your back hip pocket. Four. Reach your left arm forward, bicep by the ear, and breathe. One more breath. Good. And then re release. Hands down, lower your right knee, and take a half split. Feel that sweetness. You might wiggle around a little bit, however you need. Deep breath in and out. Good. Bend your knee. Plant the hands. Lift the back knee and then step to plank. Inhale. Lower chaturanga. Good. Upward facing. Downward facing. Deep breath in. And full breath out. Okay, here we go. Lower your knees and then just lift up. Feel the hip flexors open. Okay, we're going to start the right foot forward. Both hands come inside of your right foot and just take this in stages, okay? So you're going to begin to lower your chest. Lower your chest. Now take your right hand behind your right foot counterclockwise Interlace the hands at the shoelace portion of the foot. Good. Relax your head. And you can stay here. This could be plenty as you start to sneak your right shoulder under. Okay. Tuck the back toes and then press the back heel down. It's like you have warrior one leg. Squeeze the right hip in and then relax your head. It's like a bound little humble warrior thingy. Surrender within the challenge. Okay, so you can stay here or if the back knee is down, you can do the same exact thing. Your hands, your right hand stays underneath your right leg and you just reach back towards your hips, interlace the hands behind your back. Good. And you can just take this bound, humble, a different little variation. Or you can begin to come into the bound side angle. Spin the chest open. Scoop the right sit bone under and lengthen your spine. Lift the torso away from the right thigh. One more breath. Keep your cool. Good. Right hand down. Left hand down. Okay. Lower your back knee. This is a little counter pose. Left hand down. Sweep your right leg back and reach your right arm back. So side plank and then bend your right knee. Option to grab the foot. Kick into the foot, but press your tailbone forward into your pelvis. Spin the chest open. Sweet relief. Good. Release the foot. Right hand down right knee down. 
Good, sit back up to your knees. Other side, and step your left foot forward. Good, and then both hands inside of the foot. And from here, you start to lower the torso. So like child's pose, we take the rib cage inside the thighs and start to lower down. Good, you can come down to the forearms if that's available. And scoot your back knee in as much as you need. And then drop your left shoulder, take the left hand behind. So that's clockwise. Interlace the hands to shoelace portion of the foot. Good. Relax your head, stay. Or lift the back knee and press your right heel down. Now squeeze your left butt cheek under and lift the lower belly so you're not collapsing the pelvis. Relax your head. Breathe. And then you stay here or option to take the hands behind you. Left arm is still underneath the left leg and come, you can stay there or come into your side angle. Bind. Good, scoop the left hip under and spin the chest open. Breathe. One more breath. Good. Left hand down, right arm up, right hand down. Okay. Lower your right knee. Here we go, side plank. Sweep the left leg back, get your hand back, and then find the foot. Kick into your hand and press the pelvis, tailbone forward. Oh, spin the chest open. And then release. Good. Coming back onto your hands and knees and you'll lower all the way down to your belly. And hands by the ribs, we'll just move into a couple belly back bends. And lift the chest, cobra. And lift your legs. Reach your arms back, locus. And continue to lift. Interlace your hands, press your palms back and up. Lift your legs higher, inner thighs spin up, pinkies roll down. And release, big toes together, heels apart, and just bring a cheek to the mat. Give your bum a wiggle. Okay, second. Final round, hands by the ribs. Lift the chest, lift your legs. Good, reach your arms back, interlace your hands, press the fist back, good. And this time we do a hamstring curl, squeeze heels towards the bum like you're resisting. And release, you guys know I love these hamstring curls. It's so good for building the strength in the back, which you need for back bends, not just flexibility in the spine. Last one, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Lift the thigh bones. If available, grab the feet at the same time. Kick into your hands, expand the chest, and breathe. Lift the thigh bones. Lift the rib cage so you're on your belly button. One more breath. And release. Opposite cheek to the mat. Palms face up, toes together, heels apart. Can windshield wiper the feet side to side. And relax your legs. And I think back bends show us that you have to sometimes do the work, feel the challenge in order to then feel the effects and to feel the sweetness, the residue. The invigorating sweetness. And then 
Just gently flip onto your back like a hot pancake. And you'll cross the right thigh on top of your left thigh, Gomukhasana or eagle legs, and then draw your knees in towards your chest. Take a deep breath in and out. Good. And then just take your knees over to the left. You can keep them crossed if that feels okay. Otherwise, you just stack the knees. Press your right shoulder down. Feel your right ribs slide down towards the mat in rotation. Let this be a closing ritual. It's like tying a bow on your practice and offering these gifts, these fruits of our practice wherever we go, wherever we walk, everyone we interact with. They're just gently sprinkled along our path without you even knowing. Come back to center. And then cross the left thigh on top of the right. Good, hug your knees in. Just take that little hip stretch for a moment. And then drop your knees over to the right. Your knees come down, maybe supported by a block or your hands. And then press your left shoulder down. So there's a spreading across the chest. Commit to being still and being here now. One more breath. And out. And hug your knees back into center. And we'll come into Shavasana. And take the feet wide. Let your knees flap open. Let your toes flap open. Draw the tailbone down, flesh of the bum towards your knees, and then spin your palms up. Opening through the chest. And Savasana is a timeless posture. Feeling the bliss and the sweetness of the practice. Soak it up. Let this be your memory of your work. Stay here for as long as you can. Or reach your arms above your head. Take a big stretch. Hug your knees into your chest and squeeze. Just roll to the side and gently press yourself up to seat it. Gather your hands at your heart. And then lift tall through the spine. 
And if you'd like, you can join me for an om just to seal the sweetness. Inhale. Bring the hands to the forehead and just take a deep bow, a bow of devotion. Namaste. Have a beautiful day. Mwah.